Hi guys, so in this exercise, I'll be showing you how to execute the bash script and cron exercise. The first thing you want to do is to install SSMTP. So we're going to install SSMTP. So you see sudo apt install SSMTP. Oops, cancel, sorry. Um, I was running this on my native machine. First, they make sure that you are inside of the virtual machine. So I'll run the command again sudo apt install ssmtp. Okay, so it's not available. Let's run sudo apt update first. So once it runs, then we'll run the upgrade command. So this might take a few minutes. Okay, so it's almost done. So that is done. Let's run the sudo apt upgrade. All right, so this is done. Now let's try again sudo apt install SSMTP. Yes. So the reason it didn't work before is we didn't run the update command like it's usually recommended. You always check for an update so that it updates your app source list before you install any package. The next thing we'll install is mail utils. So run sudo apt install mail utils. So this takes will take a few minutes as well depending on how fast your internet is and now that it has been installed the next thing we'll do is to open up the um, SSMTP configuration file so you run sudo nano slash etc slash SSMTP slash SSMTP dot conf so this is a configuration file. The first thing you want to change here is the roots. Postmaster, you can change it to anything. You can put your personal email address there. So I could do, for my own case, I'll just put um, this. And then in the mail hub, since we're going to be using mail trap we we'll set this to sm smtp dot mail trap dot io port four six five and then in the on the rewrite domain make sure to change this since we're using mail trap this might not matter but you can also change since you're going to be using your gmail account as the root here then you can just set this to gmail.com, right? And then in the host name, set a valid, your host name must be a valid, um, fully qualified domain name. So uh, for our own case, what we'll do is to set this to something like um, server.server1.local, something like this. You could you, you could actually do something like this because you do not have a domain name just yet you haven't bought a domain name yet and then to the end of the file we're going to set the credentials for mail trap so you would go to your mail trap account make sure to create a mail trap account when you create a mail trap account a sample a project will be automatically created. It automatically creates a project. So you open the inbox and then you click on show credentials. So it will show the credentials for, for
for that inbox all you need to do is this is the mail this is what we set as a mail hub before which is here and then we set the ports and then we need the username so add a key here called auth user equal to and then we paste it next we need the password so we see auth pass equal to then we see auth method and set us to login then we see use tls yes and I see use start start tls I send this to I set it to yes I set it to yes um so this is all that we need to co to configure in you can also turn off uncomment this from line override so this is all that we need now we'll save and then we can test to be sure that the email works so write echo mail check-in if email check-in if email works mail s that's the subject mail test and then the recipient uh, will just use this you can use your email address as well and then you run it so once you run it it should send the email make sure that you have installed SSMTP and mail utils and you've configured both of them so this is our email our email works now to set up the scripts we need to set up the bash scripts so i will create a file called um ram usage.sh then i'll put in my shebang and then i'll put in um the recipient the email recipient so I'll just say email, email, recipient. This will be a string. So this will be, I set the same email again. That's my email address. The next thing I want to do is to extract the date and time. So uh, extract date and time. And so I'll create a variable called send time and extract it percentage h percentage minutes that's the hour and the minutes and then I would create um, an if else statement so if tests if a file exists called another thing i need to set as a variable is the actual log file so uh, ram usage usage log file um, so i could use the name file and i'll set it to home Vagrant, or rather, I could just do home slash ram dot log. Okay, so to test if file is there, then. 
if a file is there then remove it remove the file else create the new file then add a date to the file then add the time now add the date to the file so then we add the memory usage to the file then I'll just add a delimiter to show that that is the end of the file and that should be the end of my statement and then now I can send the file so I would echo Hello, Patrick. Please see the RAM usage for today below. Then mail s slash RAM usage. And then I'll attach the file. I can attach the file if I want to and I can also then I can also send it to the recipient so this just this is our script so, so it's we've created an email we've created the time first we need to check so another if else statement. So if send time is equal to twelve is equal to this, then then echo this, then echo this. And then we end the statements. So if the send time is equal to this, then run this code and send the email. So this is how we would set up our bash script file. So I'll save this. And then I'll set up my cron tab. So we need to install cron tab. So we say sudo apt install cron tab cron sudo apt install cron pardon me all right it's already installed so the next thing is to set up the actual cron tab so we would do cron tab dash e and then it's asking what editor so i'll use one then i'll go to the last line and ask this cron to run every hour. One, two, three. Is in bash. It's home vagrant ram usage dot sh. So this is my cron tab. And then I'll save that and it's done. The next thing is to synchronize the server time because the time zone on the server could be wrong, could be way ahead. So the current time is 11.39. So this is one hour behind from my actual computer. So it's synchronize it to time zone, time date, CTL, set time zone. Africa slash Lagos. So I have to add the sudo command, so I'll cancel that and add sudo. All right, so that is set now. If I check the time again, 
now this is correct west african time um the last thing i want to do is to set the server's host name so the host name ctl set host name to server dot server one dot local i just set it to be the exact same thing as i did in my SSM, ssmtp config again this has to be sudo so um run this as sudo oops i made an error so i need to correct it server All right, so this is correct now. So if I check the host name, CTL. All right, so this is correct. There are other host, there are other host name settings I can run as well. So I'll just go to static. I'll repeat the same command or change this to transient. Then there's one more. I'll just change this to let me just change this to server one on vagrant or server one vagrant and i'll set this to pretty so if i check the host name ctl now i have my pretty host name and i have my static host name correct so everything is just fine and this is how you would set up your cron job and your smtp service